Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 40 of Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network for Red Sun. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I made some changes to my Navi Cuss, and now it looks like this. I was able to fit Attack Max in along with HP 50, Speed Max, the Bug Stop, and Charge Max. Undershirt has been taken out even though it did save my ass once or twice. I don't think it's going to fit if I'm going with like a very good buster run. Though really in the Battle Network series, you're not supposed to be relying on your buster, you're supposed to be relying on your chips. Which unfortunately I can only use 30 of at a time. I definitely miss that uh, recycle that you could use in a Battle Network 3. Specifically if you had the blue version, because that was really overpowered. Alright, so we're in Undernet 3, and you can run into this Navi over here. Well, if it isn't Mega Man! I didn't expect to meet you in a place like this. Huh? You came to see me? Uh, oh, the P-Code. I'm sorry to bring you to such a dangerous place. Um, uh, you're welcome, I guess. Let me use a sneak run, because I think they can still work here now that I'm really powerful. I mean, I'm practically close to the final area, after all. If sneak runs still don't work here, and they still don't, I'm really surprised. And very disappointed. Eh, could be worse. I could be having encounters even further than usual. Yeah, so now my buster can probably do up to 50 fully charged. So that's very good to have. Let me go back to that security cube so I can get rid of it. I did see some green mystery data over there, so I might as well grab it as well. There, and I just created a good shortcut. Alright, after that, then I'll head back to the uh, Meteor computer. Oh yeah, I do have Searchman SP, because I was able to find, like, a... Searchman Omega just by going to, well, Internet 1 again. And you'll find him there. He does, like, a 75 damage, like, if you get, like, the best time. The only thing I don't like about Searchman is it's very hard to aim, given that how fast the cursor moves. Or the crosshair moves. That being said, let's return to Naxa. I just wanted to get that little side quest out of the way. Well, it's not really much of a side quest, because we won't be using that again. I don't plan on going that part of the internet anytime soon, but it was just nice to get rid of it. Okay, so we're going to the Meteor computer, and yes, they're still staring over that way. They're still in shock that Dr. Regal just happened to be the leader of Nebula. I mean, a lot of people could have saw that coming. Alright, so this place actually has a puzzle. The exit's over here, but it's not open to us. So what you have to do is you have to step on these little diamonds, and you have to step on them in numerical order. The order is depending on how many dots there are, or symbols, and they represent planets. I'll find some blue mystery data here as well, get on 1W. That's okay, I guess. Okay, so not too many drastically difficult navvies you're gonna find here. I gotta get rid of this. There. Makes life a little bit easier now that I got a fully powered buster. I can charge fast, and I can fire multiple shots pretty quickly as well. Now this place also has another gimmick that you have to be very careful with. Oh, there's an HP memory. This! There's a huge magnetic disturbance! Careful, Mega Man! To get out of that, you have to hit the A button as fast as you can. Otherwise, you're going to fall. I mean, you're going to get sucked up, you get sent back to the start, and the puzzle resets. I don't want to step on 3, because I haven't activated 2 yet. And another thing is when you actually do activate a part of the puzzle, it's like the planet will block you, so you have to go around the other way. I think I should do this healing on the go. Well, actually, I don't think I need to heal yet. It's a bit too soon for that. Well, that was bad. Uh, I wanted to get rid of the other guy, but sure. Okay, now I feel better. I think I could go with an element ice. Done. Oh, that search soul has saved my life many times. 
Okay, let's go around this way. Not just to find, like, where we need to go, but maybe I'll find some more chips. Well, this is the way I had to go to get the three anyway. Alright, so let me demonstrate how hard Searchman is to aim. Basically gotta do this. See, I hit it too early, and that's why I missed. If the cursors moved a little bit slower, it would have been so strong. But remember, if it was like 75 times 5, I mean, do the math. If they hit, they're going to damage a lot. So if they made the cursor too slow, then that would have been overpowered. Alright, that should cause the planets to rise and create a little white hole for us. I feel like I haven't checked out everywhere, so... Oh, that's probably it. High Cannon D, <laughs> whatever. Alright, let's keep going. The music here is pretty intense as well, I like it. Snag this, before we go, 1800 zennies, alright. If I can get like 20,000, then I'm just going to leave and head back to Undernet 1 so I can buy the HP memory. Unfortunately, there's another one that's 30,000, and that's gonna take a long ass time to get out. Seriously. I find Cirque Gun 2 more reliable because it hits multiple targets. What? It counted as in the middle tile? Wow. I just got hosed, game. Alright, now let's just look for the correct combination. Okay, this one actually has four. So this could be trickier now that there's like a larger combination you need to fill. As opposed to, you know, one, two, three, now it's one, two, three, four. I think we can do this. Wow, I didn't think it would work that well. Okay. Bubbler R. Well, if I was using R codes, then I can fit in that Giga Chip. Ah, yeah, rig up three. Win up three MB, baby! You know what? I think uh, using the D-pad, like just ro rotating that, also works. It's probably not just the A button. At first, when I was practicing this, I was only using the A button, and it may not be the best thing to do. Then you have to be really fast. Looks like mashing the A button and the D pad does the trick. Uh, so much for a life sword. Only I can make this connect. Oh, it did connect! I thought they'd get out of the way faster. Never stood a chance. Again, hard codes. I'm seeing a lot of those now. Alright, where's three? Where's three? Guess I gotta go this way. Oh, I'm back where I started. That's where I saw the four. I'm not looking for that. Yet. I'm surprised I still got Thunder ones. Practically redundant at this point. If I had more, like, Thunder 2 S's, it'd be better. And I don't think in this difficulty you're gonna find Thunder 3's at all. So, you're practically forced to play all three difficulties to find all the chips. That is so annoying. Like, I haven't seen any M cannons ever! Usually you find them before you get to the final dungeon. Or final part of the game, I wouldn't really call it a dungeon. That's just a bit too intense. But you know what I mean. Again, that's just one of the things I did not like about Battle Network 4 compared to the other games. Well, that did not work out according to plan, but I'm safe. I can't possibly be hurt. This guy can. Yeah, see? Four, four. I've seen four first, ironically. There. And if you get it wrong, you would just have to start over anyway. Okay, 
Okay, so far so good. Luckily these planets do rise. They actually do, like, represent current planets. I mean, the fourth one was definitely Jupiter. The third one, I think, was red, right? So that would be Mars. So that's pretty interesting that they actually put in the actual planets. So, you know, this place is not its own universe. I'll counter 2L, nice. Not that I'd be using it, but I just like to have things. I'm a kleptomaniac in this type of game. Uh, well, it's no sense to use Metagel unless I was just stealing tiles on purpose. Well, I guess I could do this and then this. But that doesn't leave me with many opportunities to do damage. Unless I was using the long blade on one of those bomb boys. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll use an area grab first. gonna blow up. Man, it has, like, a lot of reach, too. I can't really destroy it, either. But I can destroy them. This should work. In retrospect, I should've used some healing first. Eh, what are you gonna do? Well, first I'm gonna do this. I think that that's supposed to represent Mercury, but it probably represents Venus as well. Let's see what number two represents. Oh, I guess we'll never know until later. Oh, it looks like B also works. So you can practically just use A, B, and the D-pad. Oh, maybe that's Venus, yeah. Can't be Earth. Maybe Earth is skipped in this. But you don't see it. Oh, the wind box. Well, I know what I need to do. Do this. Uh, I don't think I should have targeted that. But I had to target something. Yeah, you fell for it. I wanted you on that tile. I don't know why I went up there. I saw the fangs. I'm just being dumb. Yeah, I'll use my buster. Okay, health uh, 630. I mean, it's not great, but it could be a lot worse. Yep, red planet is Mars. How much I know from my planets? That was also four. There was hardly any uh, mystery data around here, I've noticed. I don't think I missed any. If anything, there was probably only one HP memory throughout this entire area, and I already grabbed it. It's gonna get to the point where I might consider making some drastic changes to my folder. Like in Battle Network 3, I had a really good folder but it wasn't that effective against the final boss, so I had to make some changes. This is probably gonna be one of those cases again. You know, in retrospect, I should've used the Gut Soul, because then the Surf Gun would've been even more damaging. I always think of the right solutions when it's too late. It's just like high school all over again. All right, so this is the last area. Okay. Oh, no sense going that way. That's a dead end. Ah, full energy. Hopefully I won't need to use it. And, yeah, I probably won't even need to again either. These guys don't stand a chance. If anything, that guy is just annoying. Those whole circ guns. Nobody likes these guys. Especially in the Undernet. They were a nightmare, given how fast they move. And yeah, those spiders that were going around your area. It was just a total war zone on the field. No wonder I died in Undernet 6 one time. Ooh, this one has five. 
Oh, a lot of thought process is going to be made here. Because you can easily go the wrong way. Alright, I'm going to fire some blanks. Damn it, don't interrupt my charge. Oh, Why did you aim at that enemy? Oh, great, now I'm blind. Look at that! It keeps aiming at the walrus! When I'd rather it aim at the cert gun. And look, it's still doing it. Oh, I missed. Oh, now it wore off. A little too little too late, don't you think? Well, that sounded a bit redundant. Cove oh, 120F, okay. I got better recovery chips. Granted, I have very few of them. I haven't been taking that much damage long term. Which is a good thing. Because, you know, taking damage is a bad thing. Just in case you guys didn't notice. There's some blue mystery data over there. I'd like to get that. But I gotta find the right path to take. Oh yeah, don't give me any chance to move now. Oh yeah, I used my Var Sword. You hear the chime and it still didn't work. These guys are the ultimate dicks. Look, seriously, they are. Nobody likes them. And God knows it's gonna be a wall before I can find like Cirque Gun 3. I probably have to play on hard mode for it. And even if I did do it on hard mode, it likely wouldn't be on this channel. That being said, however, let's just continue on this puzzle here. There's two. I doubt there'd be a circumstance you can actually go on the panel in the wrong direction, and thus you're forced to start over. I don't think that would ever happen. All right, how am I gonna approach this? Good question. If anything, I should just use Top Man on the Bomb Boy. He's the only one that can really hurt ya. I mean, these other three are worthless. I mean, his hammer is useless. He can't hit anything. There's a hole there. Oh, well, that can happen too. Oh, yeah, that's right. It goes directly one panel in front of you. I forgot about that. I was trying to see if I could get, like, a bank shot going. But there was a hole right in front, so it's obviously not going to work. I don't know what this is going to do other than remove the metal. What's the point of that? Okay, well, I'm picking up Zenny's. Yeah, still gotta waste, like, 40, I mean, 20,000. So for both, like, uh, HP memories and the internet, I need, like, 50,000 in total. Huh, attack one. But I already got attack max up. I apologize if the button clacking is a bit loud. That's usually how I roll. Oh, there's four. And five, we saw around the upper left. Oh, you guys are the ultimate douches. I, mean, I don't feel good about this collection at all. I mean, look at that. Why'd I put myself in a bad spot? Yeah, get rid of you now. Okay, the sniper doesn't penetrate metal. But I got other things that can. Let me do this. Bit foot, bit foot. Now. Okay, well, man, if you got like a low rate, you really don't get much money. Yeah, and that's Saturn. I'm picture Saturn having a little bit more color.
But either way, that should be the puzzle completed. I have a feeling something else is coming up, like we're probably at the boss. There's usually like three or four areas in a specific spot. So I think I should save before I go there. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, I had a feeling there was a cutscene. What are you doing? Just go in! Land! It's a warp hole! Regal's Navi must be inside. So you've come! Show yourself, Laser Man! We meet again, Mega Man! The asteroid control room is inside that warp hole. I'll ask you again. Will you wield your power with us in the Syndicate? You have but two choices. Come with me into the warp hole and rule the world. Or... Be torn limb from limb! I've already answered you! I will not be a part of your evil! As I suspected. Stupid, Navi! Your side is doomed to failure! I'm not like I was before! My friends have shown me true love! My body is full of the warmth of their souls! That sounds morbid. Ha! <sighs> the warmth of souls, indeed. Listen to me! That feeble power is no match for the power of evil. I'll teach you. Lin, he's coming! Show him the power of good! Battle routine, set! Execute! Prepare to become space dust! Where have I heard that line before? Was that Sigma from Mega Man X4? Those were the days. Alright, so now we can finally battle Laser Man. 1000 HP. I think a Surge Soul would be good to have here. Video Man also be very good to have here. And Air Hockey 3. Actually, let me use the Thunder next, then the Air Hockey. So I can plan my spot from there. That way, he's guaranteed to be hit. Look at that, almost half his health is gone. He moves around quite a bit, too. And he also cracks these tiles. He likes to teleport, too, so that's another thing you have to worry about. Oh, now he's got this hole. That hole actually increases his health periodically. So I gotta do a nice bit of damage right away. Oh, he's hugging himself. That's cute. Oh, he just shot a laser into my face. Alright, he's almost deleted, and that hole can't last forever. Now he's dead. D Dr. Regal! I... I'm sorry. Ah! It's over. Everything. Mega Man, your hate for me will allow your dark soul to be reborn. <laughs> I can even see it. Deep inside your body. Your dark soul. Well, at least I'm alive, not you. My Dark Soul. He's still unconscious? Ha 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 ha! Land! This'll blow our last chance to avoid the asteroid! What do you mean? The plan originally called for sending my Navi. My Navi would, su would succeed it? Would have succeeded for sure. A navy like yours couldn't possibly control an asteroid. The planet's doomed thanks to your stupid reasoning. Ha ha ha! We won't know until we try! We won't ever give up! Mega Man, make for the control room! We must change the asteroid's course! Okay, Lan, I'm going. Alright, so this is pretty much the point where you're gonna have to save your game. And he'll tell you. Lan, the magnetic field in this area is fluctuating too much for us to save the game. Do you want to go on? 
Alright, so... What I already did save the game, but this is the point where you pretty much have to. Because once you go in that wormhole, you cannot save it all. You cannot even jack out. That's the path to the final boss. So anyways, I shall stop the video right here. In the next episode, we're going to take on this uh, control room and change the asteroid's course once and for all before it's too late. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching.